everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my first ever unhaul video. I don't unhaul books very often. It's just something that I grew up not doing when we switched the rooms that our books were in to this room. I had to take all the books off of my bookshelf and put them back on my bookshelf. And I realized there's just a lot of books that I don't need anymore. I've, I've read and I'm not going to reread or I'm never going to read or there are like books 19, 20, 21 in a series that I've never read or I already had them. And it's just time to get rid of some of the books. So I have a lot. There's this whole box plus a lot of stuff to my right that I am getting rid of. And then I have another stack of books that are books that I'm not getting rid of yet, but I will get rid of soon if I do not read them. Basically, I've had these books for so long, I haven't completely lost interest in them, but I have. I also haven't made it a priority to read them. So if I haven't gotten to them, probably by the end of next year, the end of 2020, I will get rid of them. So first things first, I'm going to need some of this to get through all of this. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on any of these just because there are so many, but I'm going to be talking for a while. So I need a little vino to get me through it. This is just a red blend from a box because I'm cheap and I've been drinking boxed wine as John and I are on a budget. So gotta, you know, get your money's worth and I'm not, I'm drinking alone while I'm drinking with you guys. If you guys are drinking, cheers. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. I'll probably go for another sip of that in a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of work my way through. So first we have Nora Roberts, Chesapeake Blue. I have Sandra Brown's Thursday Child. This is the Storm Testament series. And Storm Testament number one, the top one here, I've owned, well, I've owned this entire series for quite a long time and I've never read it. And so I've put the Storm Testament on quite a few TBRs and still have not read it. So after lots of soul searching and talking to my mom about this multiple times, I've decided, oh, they're so dusty. I've decided it is time to get rid of this series. I'm not interested in reading it. And I've kind of kept on, like held on to the series because they were a gift from my grandparents, but I'm just never going to read them. I, I, I don't have room on my bookshelf for this anymore. Then I have... Two books by Janet Ivanovich, Foul Play and Thanksgiving, Bleachers by John Grisham. I have a stack of James Patterson books. I have Double Cross, Alex Cross Run, Cross, and Mary Mary. And these are all part of, I guess, the Alex Cross series, which I have never read. And they're like smack dab in the middle of the series. Carol Higgins Clark Laced. Again, this is part of her Reagan Riley series, but it's kind of in the middle somewhere. Mary Higgins Clark and Carol Higgins Clark Santa Cruz. It's it's part of the Reagan Riley series. I have um, Knit 2, which is book two in the Friday Night Knitting Club series. Um, I'm going to get to a Friday Night Knitting Club in a little bit. More Carol Higgins Clark books. Uh, Cursed, Gypped, and Hitched. Again, these are part of the Reagan Riley series, but not any, none of these are the first. And then another combo, Mary Higgins Clark, Carol Higgins Clark, Deck the Halls. Again, part of the Reagan Riley series that I haven't read. A bunch of Philippa Gregory books. I have The Other Queen, The Virgin's Lover. The Taming of the Queen, The Bolin Inheritance, and The Other Bolin Girl. Um, these are all also part of the series, and I do have the first book, but so I will hold on to these, and if I like the first book, I will 
hold on to these. I have a couple John, more John Grishams, A Painted House, and The Racketeer, The Lost Years by Mary Higgins Clark. Um, <laughs> I have Sports Illustrated, The Golf Book. I think I got this at a library book sale because John's family, a lot of his family members golf, and I was like, oh, that could be a good present and then never did anything with it. So, you know, I don't need to hold on to a coffee table golf book. I have other coffee table books that are more my speed. So I'm getting rid of this. Daily Life in a Covered Wagon. I found this at a library book sale. I was like, oh, this is something that my mom would like. Well, she did like it because she's already owned it. So I don't need to mail this to her. And then I have my Praxis 2, uh, like study guide. This entire box that I'm about ready to go through are, I'm pretty sure they're all books that I already owned. There might be some in here that aren't. We'll see. So I have by Diane Mott Davidson, The Serial, Serial Murders and The Last Suppers. I have Mary Higgins Clark, The Shadow of Your Smile, um, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Stories for a Teen Heart, book one. I know this is kind of like Chicken Soup for the Soul, Nelson DeMille's Upcountry, John Grisham, The King of Torts. I have two copies of The Gold Coast by Nelson DeMille because I forgot that I owned it twice. Nicholas Sparks, See Me, Rogue Lawyer by John Grisham, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Again, John and I just have multiple copies and we don't need two, so... Um, actually, while we're talking about Harry Potter, we also have Order of the Phoenix. I have The Help by Catherine Stockett. Extreme Couponing and Pick Another Checkout Lane, Honey. I have Janet Ivanovich, One for the Money. Nicholas Sparks, The Rescue. The Praxis Core Study Guide. Tom Clancy, The Cardinal of the Kremlin. I Empire by Orson Scott Card. James Patterson. Honeymoon. Okay, first of all, this thing is in like horrible shape. Secondly, I'm pretty sure I either have it already or it's, I have, I think I have it already and this just should probably just go in the garbage. It's in horrible condition. Um, I have Barack Obama's The Audacity of Hope. I just am not really interested in reading nonfiction at the moment. Um, I have the children's classic compendium, Black Beauty, Wind in the Willows, and the Water Babies, Betty Friedan's The Feminine Mystique, um, America's Second Revolution, The Battle of the Crater, Abigail Adams, and The Warmth of Other Suns. Okay, now for this um, box of books. I don't even know how these are all in here. Um... I don't know, we're just gonna kind of grab. Okay, we have Louisa May Alcott, a biography, and Jane Austen, a life. This book, Off the Beaten Path by Don S. Williams. I think it's like about Tennessee. Yeah, it has to be because I just saw something about Dolly Parton's house. I get, oh yeah, what to see in East Tennessee and how to get there. Oh, uh, we have the Plain City Bridesmaids bind up three Ohio Mennonite romances. I used to be really into like the Amish and Mennonite uh, romance books because they don't really get very, you know, explicit, but I'm not really interested in these anymore. And then I have Six of Crows. I just bought um, a boxed set of the duology and so I have a second copy. I have Tequila Mockingbird Cocktails with a Literary Twist. I got two copies of this for Christmas one year. I have more nonfiction. I have Obama's Wars and Reagan's Secret War. I have Frankenstein by Mary Shelley because I didn't realize that I had a copy already when I bought one like last month. Joe's Boys, I actually have um, Little Women and little men as well. I just got a bind up of all three of these, so I'm getting rid of my individual ones. First American, The Life and Times of Benjamin Franklin. Same reasoning as all the other nonfiction. Nicholas Sparks, Every Bet Breath. I will never read this again. I gave it like two and a half stars. Not interested in it, in rereading it. It was eh. And Anna Quinlan, Alternate Sides. Also will never reread because I didn't really love it. Still love the cover though.
The Imposter ba Bride by Nancy Richler. Um, In the Time of the Butterflies by Julia Alvarez. Valley of the Horses. This is book two in the Clan of the Cave Bear series. The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. Divergent by Veronica Ross. I've heard like mixed reviews on this series as a whole and I don't like it, but I've heard nothing but good things about this. But I know if I read this and like it, I'm going to want to read the rest of the series. But I don't want to read the rest of the series because I've heard mixed things about it. So I just figured, just get it off my bookshelf. A Journey Through Texas. Gettysburg, A Testing of Courage, another nonfiction. Um... J.K. Rowling's The Casual Vacancy. I might move this to my self-destruct list, but I've tried reading it a few times and I still can't get into it. We'll see. Um, Classic Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Angels Watching Over Me. House of Cards by William D. Cohen. I got this at a library book sale and I thought it was the book that like the um, the Netflix show was based off of. But it's not. There is a book that the Netflix series is based off of. This is not it. And I'm not interested in this. The War of the Worlds. Another nonfiction. Michael Crichton's Fear. Um, Soul of the Worlds by David Mealing. I got this at a library book sale because I thought maybe John would be interested in it. He tried reading it. He didn't like it. So, Yeah. Um, Mary Higgins Clark, Mount Vernon Love Story, and Let Me Call You Sweetheart. Brown Eyed Girl by Lisa Claypass. I read it. It's like a romance. It was fine, but I'm never going to reread it. Another Mary Higgins Clark, Just Take My Heart. I just have another copy of it. I have The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and The Girl Who Played with Fire. Um, People of the Wolf. Pocahontas. My grandmother had this when I was growing up and I tried reading it a couple times and then I saw it somewhere and was like, oh, hey, nostalgia. But I don't know. David Baldacci, Split Second, and Here's the Clan of the Cave Bear, which I think I'm going to hold on to this and try and read it and add this. So I think I'm adding a few books to my These Books Will Self-Destruct list. So those are all the books that I'm for sure getting rid of. Now for the few that if I don't read in the next year, I'm going to get rid of. So I have the Friday Night Knitting Club. Um, I in, I read this once before a long time ago and I didn't hate it. I just, I, I want to reread it, see if I like it, see if I want to keep it. If I read this and like this, then I will um, keep the second book. The Doll People by Ann M. Martin and Laura Godwin. The Nanny Diaries by Emma McLaughlin, McLaughlin and Nicola Kraus. I have Still Alice by Lisa Genova. The Jane Austen Book Club by Karen Joy Fowler. I really like the movie, but I've heard that the book is not as good as the movie. We'll see. I have Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. The Lady of the Rivers. This is the first book in the, like, um... Philippa Gregory like series um like if you read it if you're reading it like chronologically like when events take place so again if I read this and like it then I'll probably hold on to some of the other Philippa Gregory books so yeah I have The Accidental Empress I think when I saw this I thought it was part of this series but it's not so, oh, it's very dusty. I have Newt Gingrich and William R. Forschins to Try Men's Souls. This is a fiction book about Washington's Crossing of the Delaware. Confessions of a Jane Austen Addict. I have The Devil Wears Prada. I watched the movie and I liked it all right. So why not read the book? And then last but, lot, last but not least, I have A Hundred Summers. Those are all the books that I am getting rid of or potentially getting rid of if I don't read them in the next year. I now have a huge mess, mess of books around me. Let me know if you are a book unhauler or if you tend to hold on to your books and let me know the most recent book that you have gotten rid of.
Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy reading. Bye!